What you may not know is here at Fabus Farms, we spend the large majority of our summer and some of the other months of the year going to horse shows. So what we've compiled for you are a series of horse show tips that will not only hopefully make your life a little easier, but also help you look a little more polished in the show ring. Enjoy. So all you horse show moms and dads, listen up. I'm going to give you a bunch of tips on how to pack the best horse show bag, what you'll need in it, and where to find it. We're going to start, first of all, with the bag itself. I've got a few different options here on the screen. They're all great. Here are some things they have in common. They are sturdy, so when you set them down, they will stay standing up. Your things won't fall out of it. Very important. They've all got a bunch of pockets. We like that. So we need lots of pockets in them that will help us keep things organized and separate and easy to grab when you need it. They're also identifiable. So that's really important. Everybody's going to have their own horse show bag and you want to be able to pick yours out of a crowd. Um, or should it get left at the arena, people will be able to easily take it back to its owner. And then lastly, you want them washable. So make sure they are machine washable because these things will be seeing the dirt, the dust, all the products, hair, all sorts of things. And periodically, you're going to want to give them a good washing. So keep watching and we're going to talk about what tools you're going to need next. All right, so we're ready to pick out the best bag possible. Now we've got to fill that bag. And let's start with the tools that we'll need. We're going to begin at one side of the screen and travel across to the other, so come along with me. First things first, you're going to want some washcloths, um, little microfiber rags, um, golf towels, things like that. You'll need a couple of those for each horse show. These are perfect for wiping off boots, wiping off horses' nostrils, maybe wiping off a kid's nostrils. Who knows? I'm not judging, um, but you'll definitely want a couple of those that are easily washable um, between shows. And then you'll need the usual, certainly need a hoof pick. Um, you want to be picking out those hooves and make sure there's no rocks or any foreign debris in there. Keep those horses comfortable. I personally like the hoof pick that has the brush and the pick on it. Um, so that brush side can be used for cleaning off the hooves and getting them ready to apply paint and things like that. Um, you might need a comb. You'll see we've got a little teal comb down there. Uh, that works really good if you're banding and you need to separate, banding or braiding and you need to separate the mane. So it's always good to have a comb. Certainly a mane and tail brush you'll need. Um, that's one of the very last things that I do as a horse show mom is I've got to fluff up that tail and make sure it's nice and clean um, before my kiddo goes in the arena. And then you're going to want a variety of body brushes. Um, you'll want a soft brush that works best for um, those more sensitive areas like the face, um, but certainly a soft brush works good for final touches all over the whole body. I like a medium brush as well, um, so that works good for that first brush of the day once they've woken up in the morning and had their breakfast and you take off their horse show jammies. Um, and then I do have a stiff brush and maybe a curry comb in my tack stall, but they're not always in my bag at all times. You're not gonna likely need those at the side of the show arena. But certainly if you went out and lunged in the mud or if your horse got sweaty, you might want that stiffer brush or that curry to kind of break up that sweat or mud um, so that you can get them ready for showtime. So those are the tools you need, not too many. Now let's see what products we need. We've made it to the grocery store. Now let's fill up our cart with those things that will make your horse show life easier and your horse show bag heavier. So we're gonna start with baby wipes. Baby wipes are so useful for those last minute boot touch-ups, um, wiping off dirty hands, what have you. Just be sure whatever you're wiping, it doesn't leave, sometimes they leave like a white lint residue on some fabrics, so be careful. Um, but otherwise you'll find baby wipes so, so useful and you'll definitely wanna always have a fresh pack handy. I love baby oil gel um, for adding a little bit of sheen to the horse's muzzle, eyes, and ears. And I like it better than the horse-specific product that does the same thing. One, it's cheaper, um, and I think that it leaves a little bit more of a shine on the horse's muzzle. I much prefer it to baby oil, which is uh, very thin and runny and messy. So definitely get some baby oil gel, and it's moisturizing for the horse's skin, so it works well for that too, and it smells great. So get some baby oil gel and likely one bottle will last you an entire show season. A little goes a long way there. 
You'll want to have a lot of the heavy duty, large size safety pins. Those are handy for pinning on back numbers along with a lot of other little tips and tricks. So keep those. We like to keep them in a little Rubbermaid container so that they stay nice and neat and don't get spilled all over your bag. Baby powder is great if your horse has um, white socks. So I like to add a little baby powder to the socks before showmanship, um, but also before I put on any hoof product. Um, I put baby oil or excuse me, baby powder on the socks and it just really gives them a crisp white look. Kind of those last finishing touches that you might not be able to put your finger on what the difference is, but it makes all the difference in the world in those first impressions. So um, one thing I would recommend that once you put the baby powder on, you do walk a circle or something to allow your horse to get rid of that excess powder before you then clean the hooves and apply any product to the hooves. You definitely got to have your favorite hairspray, whether you're male or female, to keep those flyaways at bay. My favorite hairspray of all time is John Frieda Frizz Ease. Easily found, pretty inexpensive, and works all day long. I've actually got some on right now, and it's doing its job flawlessly, I would say. <laughs> um, up top, we've got some scissors. Go ahead and treat yourself. So get those great sewing scissors. Um, splurge a little bit. Have nice, sharp scissors. You're going to use them for all sorts of tasks, um, like trimming up tails and manes, all sorts of things that you'll want scissors for throughout the show weekend. We also use disposable razors quite often, so I also like these um, in comparison to the horse-specific product for getting those last-minute whiskers on the morning of halter and showmanship day. So certainly we trim our horses up with um, the clippers the week before the show, but on the morning of the show, I like to get those last little um, hairs with the disposable razors. You're only going to want to use it for about a show or two before you replace it with a new um, sharp and comfortable razor. So I've got a couple different types of hair clips in my show bag. Those are really useful when you're banding or braiding your horse's mane and you want to keep the excess hair out of the way. And I also use it to keep the extra hair from the tail out of the way when I'm putting in a fake tail. So be sure to watch our video on how to put in a fake tail for tips and tricks on how to do that job um, the best way possible. The last two products that we've got to mention here are duct tape and electrical tape. So duct tape works really good if you want to put it on things like your muck bucket, your pitchfork, your horse's water buckets to identify them. So duct tape comes in all sorts of colors and patterns these days so you can have your own specific pattern that is on all of your things to help keep separate from your barn friends. Um, besides all the other crisis that uh, duct tape can help solve. So keep that handy. You may need it for who knows what. And then electrical tape. You want to get electrical tape that matches your horse's tail hair because you're going to use that when you put in your fake tail for that last securing touch to uh, finish in putting your fake tail. So you've finished up your shopping trip at the grocery store. Now it's time to head to the tax store. I will warn you, if you get all of these products at once, it's going to be a pretty pricey bill, but they'll be worth it. So we're going to begin with the horse's hooves. So what products do you need for that and why? So if your horse has black hooves, I like seeing those black hooves painted black and then a clear polish over them. So I'll tell you my process for doing that. Now, I would like to mention now, be sure that you check whatever your show association's rules are on what can and cannot be used. For example, if you show Arabians, I know you cannot use anything that changes the color of the horse in any manner. So do check up on that before you use any of these products. Um, to the far edge of the screen, you'll see hoof black there is what it's generally referred to as. Um, I have tried this product several times over the last couple decades and I keep coming back to the same conclusion. It's not my favorite. There's stuff that I prefer. So I've got a bit of a thumbs down on hoof black. Here's what I use instead. So I actually like Sullivan's Black Finisher Spray. It's actually used for cattle, uh, for show cattle. And I have found that I prefer that product to the horse version um, made by a variety of different companies, but Shapely's would be one of them. Um, so 
this, if my horse has black hooves, I spray with the black finisher spray. It's a matte spray um, that can just kind of cover up any imperfections and just give a nice clean black base. Um, and then if my horse also has black legs, like my bay horse that I have, I will cover up any little imperfections on the lower half of her leg, just being careful to blend naturally as we go up. Um, if your horse is a sorrel or a chestnut, you're obviously not going to want to use the black spray on their legs. Shape Lease does offer a variety of colors of their spray, and you want to practice those at home because even though your horse is a sorrel, you may find that the sorrel spray doesn't match perfectly. You might have to try out um, a couple of their different colors to see what matches well. So I'm going to spray the hooves and the legs of my black hooved horses um, with that black finisher spray. And then once that dries, I'm going to then apply the ultra hoof polish enhancer, which is like a clear top coat. Once that dries, you don't have to worry about shaving sticking to it or dirt sticking to it. That'll stay good for pretty much a whole class. So that stuff is really nice. Now you may be wondering, okay, my horse doesn't have black hooves. What would you use, Taylor? So on my horses that don't have black hooves, I actually just like to clean the hooves up really well and then only have that clear hoof polish enhancer on them. That's just my personal preference. Um, ask your trainer before you purchase or use any of these products. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? We have vet wrap. Vet wrap is super useful for a variety of things. Um, wrapping around a tail to keep it tangle free between classes. We also use it on the top of our showmanship boots to keep those nice and tight against the calves so they don't um, show through your showmanship boots or through your showmanship pants as um, big and bulky boots. So we use a lot of that each weekend at a horse show. I have a horse who has a lot of white on his body and so he often lays in manure or dirt of some sort throughout the night. And I have found Cowboy Magic Green Spot Remover to be a miracle worker. So I'm sure there's similar products, but this product works really well for me. Um, so when he has a manure spot on his, anywhere on his body, sometimes his head, because he uses his poop as a pillow. I don't know if anybody has a horse like that. I'll spray a little bit of this, scrub it with that medium or stiff brush, and it really does make it pretty much disappear for the most part. So that works really well for spot washing. Um, Speaking of washing, I have Shoshin um, or a similar detangling product in my um, show wash bucket. So after the horse gets a bath, I'll spray their body all over with Shoshin and I'll spray quite heavily in their tail um, to keep it tangle free throughout the weekend. Um, super bands or there's a variety of similar products, but basically tiny rubber bands. You want to have whatever matches your horse's mane and tail um, the best. I have some of every color in my show bag, uh, but you definitely want to have those handy for putting in your fake tail, uh, things like that. And then the last products that I have featured here are fly sprays. So there's a variety of insecticides. You definitely want to try them at home to make sure there's no reactions on your skin or your horse's skin. See what works best. I suggest having a variety um, because you never know what's going to work best that day, depending on the type of insect that seems to be biting at that fairgrounds. But as a horse show mom or dad, you do not want to be caught without fly spray at ringside. So make sure you have several bottles of that handy. I hope you found these tips useful and you're ready to fill up your horse show bag. Have no fear. I have typed out shopping lists for you, whether you're going to the grocery store or the tax store and I've put them right in the description of this video so you can copy and paste them and get to shopping. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, give our video a like and subscribe to our channel, and we will keep bringing you great tips on how to make your horse show season successful.